This video is the sixth episode of the House to Home series, where I'll be transforming the open plan area of this two bedroom apartment in Greater Western Sydney. Follow along as I take you through the design process, all the way to a final tour of the space. The apartment has a total internal area of 76 square meters, with a 29 square meter L shaped balcony that wraps around the apartment. Upon entry, there is a small laundry and a storage room and a hallway that leads to an open plan living, dining, and kitchen area, with two bedrooms one in each corner. While the scope of this project is only for the open plan living area, it is an exciting one as it involves a lot of unique design elements. The client is an engineer who spends most of his weekdays in the office and travels a lot for work. He rarely cooks and doesn't need a home office. All the client wants is a beautifully curated and comfortable space where he can relax, which will be the focus of this project. The first challenge for this project was selling on a design style as the client was interested in so many. He really likes Scandinavian, Japandi, and mid-century modern interiors. I therefore suggested a hybrid style to incorporate a bit of everything. However, creating a balanced design with so many design elements is always a challenge. The client was also not into open plan furniture layouts that you'll typically find in an apartment. He wanted only a minimal amount of furniture and specifically said that he did not want a dining table, a TV unit, or any extra storage. With these challenges in mind, the client wanted to transform his living area from the existing sparse and dark design into one with plenty of sculpture and organic forms. This would form the basis for an organic modern style. An organic modern interior was the perfect choice for this client, as it introduces warm neutral tones, rich textures, and natural materials into cool contemporary spaces. This allowed us to combine all the different elements, and the client's eye for curved furniture and organic shapes. Taking the elements and principles of organic modern design into account, the client's wishlist was as follows. An oversized couch with a low profile and white seat cushions for lounging. A coffee table to be used for eating warm and subdued lighting in the evening, and a magazine-worthy home. During our initial discussion, the client mentioned that he did not want a dining table as he prefers sitting on the floor and eating at a coffee table. Not having a dining area really opened up the space of his apartment, as the open plan area was originally intended to be both a living and dining area. However, there was arguably too much empty space. We subsequently discussed the idea of having a reading nook but ended up settling on an oversized couch and an armchair as per his request. The search for the perfect couch actually took a really long time. The client wanted something with a low profile, thick armrest, and white seat cushions. Even more importantly, he wanted something that would allow for good posture, not a couch that would let you lean too far backwards when sitting upright. After spending a long time searching for something like this, I realized that there weren't any ready-made options that tick all his boxes. We ended up getting a custom sofa that we can customize to our liking. Size, fabric, color, down to the cushions. The client also mentioned that he did not want a TV unit as he thought they were too bulky and he didn't need the extra storage. I wanted to get something quite open and airy that would connect and ground the space. We therefore decided to get a bench underneath the TV that can also be used as extra seating for guests or be converted into a bench seat if he wished to get a dining table in the future. As for the warm and subdued lighting, we decided on a combination of roller blinds and sheer curtains. While planning this, I realized that the floor wasn't level. There's a 9mm gap from one corner to the other. While this is not noticeable to the naked eye, small details like this make a custom curtain really stand out and worth the extra cost. On the other side of the room, we also decided that mounting a mirror just beside the bedroom door would be a good idea. Before I continue, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Roborock. I recently tried the popular S7 Plus with the backless auto empty dock, which is as convenient as it gets. It can go up to 6 weeks without emptying, no need to buy or dispose of bags, and the cyclone can be easily removed and washed. There is also the option to switch to a regular dust bag should you wish to. Operating the vacuum is really easy. It takes a few minutes to set up and scans the whole apartment with ease. The app is very intuitive and allows you to divide the map into rooms, select specific areas, and various suction and mopping settings to suit your needs. The vacuum itself is really powerful and has no problem handling dirt and hair around the home. What I really like is the intelligent mop lifting feature. 
where it lifts and drops down the mop automatically when going from rocks to floor, which is very handy as most of us have a rock or two around the house. To ensure clean mopping, the S7 Plus also comes with Vibrarize mopping system that scrubs your floor up to 3000 times per minute with consistent high pressure. Best of all, you can get them in either black or white, which means that it will easily blend into any interior. Head over to the link in the description to learn more about the Roborock S7 Plus. The final mood board has a good balance of all the different themes, combining furniture with clean lines as well as organic and sculptural forms. There's a huge emphasis on natural materials like linen, oak, rattan, and marble as they speak well to one another and are key elements of organic modern design. Besides the couch, there weren't really any DIY aspects to this project. Right from the get-go, we had chosen two beautiful artworks for the living room. One was a print version of Yayoi Kusama's Infinity Nets, featuring a web of black brush strokes on a green background. A very feminine approach to gestural abstraction that was a male-dominated technique at the time. These artworks as well as various materials found within the living room furniture were foundational to styling the space. I chose lamps with linen shades to speak to the sofa, a reproduction of the popular Caprani floor lamp as it is very sculptural to complement the coffee table and mirror, as well as a mid-century lamp in lichen green as it ties in with the artworks. This became our primary accent color. I continued this color scheme through the throw pillows to match the sofa. With everything completed, it is now time to tour the finished space. What was previously a sparse and uninviting apartment has been transformed into a warm and mellow space that is magazine worthy. We successfully combined various natural elements to evoke a warm and organic feeling. Notably is a combination of various natural materials such as linen, marble, oak, wool, and rattan that are perfectly balanced throughout the space. We combated what would have been a dull neutral color scheme through layering interesting textures such as boucle found in the armchair and a rug that is made of three shades of wool to achieve a beautiful marled effect. This combined with the sculptural forms throughout the space create a new level of depth and visual interest. Some beautiful sculptural pieces featured in the space include the cream marble coffee table by Sarah Allison, the curved armchair by Grado, the blob mirror from Made of Tomorrow, the delicate Caprani floor lamp, as well as subtle details like the clean corner detailing of the oak bench. What is quite unconventional about this space is the fact that the living and dining area has been intentionally repurposed into solely a living area. This enabled us to put a massive 3.2 meter couch into an apartment, which is not something you'll see every day. By doing this, we could have such a large piece of furniture in a relatively small space without it feeling bulky or oversized. The couch itself has wide seats and arms, a low profile, and deep seating but not leaning too far backwards, exactly as the client wanted. That being said, with such a large couch, we needed something minimal to connect and ground the TV area and provide balance to the space which is why we opted for a bench rather than a TV unit or console. The bench also opened up the possibility for the space to be a conversation area, as guests can sit on the bench facing the couch for a more intimate setting. The client is all about minimal living, so it was important to keep the core to a minimum but still have enough to elevate the space and make it feel lived in. We added in small details like an artwork and a stool in the left hand corner of the room where there was an empty wall to not only balance the space but add some needed character. We continued this idea through adding a curved edge red hand console with black detailing in the recess wall next to the bedroom. Small decor items like vases are intentionally chosen for its organic shape. Finally, the combination of roller blinds and sheer curtains allowed us to have more control over natural light, especially in the late afternoon when the sun is quite harsh. We had the curtain finished just off the floor to give a clean and minimal look. At night, warm ambient lighting transformed the space into a cozy retreat. And that wraps up this makeover. If you are based in Sydney, Melbourne, or Canberra, and would like to be featured in the House Home series, you can register your interest via the link in the description box below or in the pinned comment section. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.